Hey guys, check out this 1969 Mercury Cougar convertible. There's a lot of little Mustangs out there, convertibles, but not too many of these uh, 1969 Mercury Cougar convertibles are still around, and uh, especially not as nice as this one. This is a 118,000, uh, believed to be original mile car. Uh, we just had the engine out, had it all freshened up, uh, to crank and uh, went through the bearings and stuff in it. I'll tell you what, this 351 Windsor, uh, brand new Holley four barrel, this motor runs excellent. I have a neat story on this 69 Cougar convertible. I was out on a vacation uh, just here recently over Thanksgiving um, out in Utah and uh, happened to check out the Craigslist listings out there and I found this uh, 69 Cougar. The previous owner has had it for about 35 years. Uh, he had it all restored in uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, had it all repainted. His uh, son had a body shop at that time so they took it all the way down and did a really nice job on it. And uh, approximately 30 years later, um, you can tell this car was done right. I mean, 30 years later, it's got a few little chips on it. Um, other than that, uh, the body on this thing is awesome. Paint quality looks great. Uh, we went ahead and uh, buffed it all out when it came in, put a different set of American Racing rims with uh, BFG raised white letter tires on it, and uh, detailed it up and got it ready to sell. So as we look underneath the hood, like I said, we pulled the motor out. Had it freshened up. It does have headers and power steering, power brakes. Motor runs excellent. As we look at the paint quality, um, the bottom side of the hood is painted just as nice as the rest of the exterior of the car. Also, the inside of the trunk floor is all painted body color and done very, very professionally as well. So when they did this paint job 30 years ago, um, it was no expense spared in uh, shows today. It's got a new Napa Legend battery. Engine compartment's all been painted black when the motor was out, so the engine bay looks nice. You can pop your uh, hood at a car show or a car cruise or something like that and uh, be proud of it. The hideaway headlights on this Cougar do work and they work properly. Also the grill and front bumper and stuff, um, I believe it to be original. It shows a little wear, but uh, in all honesty is really super clean for an original uh, 118,000 mile car. Um, to do the motor work, we did have to have the hood off, but the guys really did a good job getting that uh, hood put back on there properly. The gap looks good on the passenger driver's side. And we got a couple little paint chips right along the very edge that were on there when we got it. Other than that, the paint on the top of the hood, top of the front fender looks really good. We have uh, another little paint scratch on the passenger side fender right on this very edge. You got to kind of see the paint in person to appreciate that 30, it was painted 30 years ago and still looks this nice. Check out the body on it. I mean, as you look up and down the sides of this passenger side, it is laser straight. The paint has a beautiful finish. You can see your reflection anywhere in it. Your side front fender is in excellent shape in front and behind the wheel. It does have the disc brakes in the front. Um, a door gap is absolutely perfect and check out how that body line lines up from the door to the fender. That lines up really nicely there. Um, corner of the doors on this car, even though it was painted 30 years ago, there's not a bubble anywhere on this door. Fenders, excellent. Paint is great. Um, I did replace the antenna on it, so it's got a brand new antenna. And the radio works properly. It's got the dual sport mirrors. They're painted just as nice as the rest of the car. Um, original handles on there, so there is a few little um, scuffs on the chrome, but uh, all in all looks good. Uh, door gap from uh, top to bottom looks good on it. Couple little black specks here, guys, as we painted the underneath. We got a cup, there's, they'll come right off with your fingernail here, so not a big deal. They just need to get that cleaned off when we get it back to the shop. Um, wheels look good, it does have the drums in the back. Over top of the rear wheels are excellent. There's no bubbles or blisters anywhere there. 
behind the rear quarter is great. Again, no issues that I can see anywhere. The back bumper on this car has been replated, um, and so has the chrome. And look at, hope you can see the uh, reflection on the back bumper and the quality of the lenses and the chrome around the lenses. It's just in great shape. That little uh, trunk lid piece here has a couple, two little tiny dings in it, but the chrome shine on this back end is excellent. Does have dual exhaust, the rear balance is nice on it. As we come around to the back, the top of the trunk lid, top of the uh, rear quarters, all of that paint is excellent shape as well. In my opinion, I mean, this is definitely a local car show, quality car, uh, cruise night car. Um, just a really super nice driver, guys. Gap's really good here on the uh, driver's side of the uh, trunk lid. Matches up really nice and even to the top here. As you rub your hand across it, I mean, it just feels really nice and smooth. The whole paint job does. As far as the uh, convertible top, that's power that uh, works properly, latches nice, power top works great. Um, plastic back window, but look how tight that is. So nice tight black window, not all wrinkly. Um, the top's in great shape, except for over on the driver's side. Over here on the driver's side, there's a little flaw, I'll point that out. But the passenger side part of the top is in excellent condition. As we open up the doors, um, during the restoration back in the uh, late 80s, um, new rubbers were installed, new stoppers were installed. Obviously the doors were all taken off, repainted, um, properly put back on and adjusted. Inside, uh, courtesy lights work. Does have some Sony speakers done in the bottom of the door panel, but they're done very professionally and they look great in there. I wouldn't worry about changing that out. It does have a little U-shaped tear right here in the uh, door panel and uh, two little spots, one here. I guess, I guess that's a little crack in the trim there. That probably is supposed to be that way. Um, but the overall door panel um, appearance is in really nice shape and I'm guessing that's original. Check out the paint on the corners of the doors here. I mean, that's the way this whole car is. Um, they did a nice job painting it. Look at the jam paint. And go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, check out the uh, trunk floor paint. It's the same way, guys. Not chipped up, it was really put on nice and heavy. It's not uh, um, chipped anywhere, stuff like that. The dash pad, it's excellent. Um, as far as I can see, all the way across from uh, right to left. As far as our panel lights, accessory, map lights, stuff like that. Um, the clock is not working, but the wood grain around the clock is in really good shape. Um, we do have a key for the uh, locking lug nuts inside here. It's got a new old school 1992 Walmart Jensen AM FM cassette, and I'll tell you what, the thing's still playing some good tunes. Um, the console does need the new wood grain piece put in here. It's got the, uh, the holders for the uh, uh, seat belts, but the, this piece could be, uh, I think there's an underlayment in there. The heater fan works. The horn is not working. Um, it's got aftermarket uh, temp, or amp, I'm sorry. Amp and oil pressure gauge. Oil pressure is running at 35 pounds at an idle. The uh, factory gas gauge works. It's got 19,879 miles on the odometer. Um, I know I talked to the previous owner and um, he said it was 119. Uh, the tachometer, factory tach works, and factory temp gauge works. Other than that, um, the seats are all in good shape, nice and pliable on the seats. The headrests are nice. Carpet's in good shape. Um, our paint here in the door jam. Looks really good. Some of the plastic pieces you can tell were red. Um, you can tell it on the edges, both of these here. They've been painted or dyed years ago, but they need to be done again. There's, there's a little red showing on some of the hard plastic pieces. Uh, back seat is excellent shape. Uh, no rips or tears anywhere that I can see there. Back door panels are nice. Ashtrays, nice and clean. The chrome, they slide well. 
It's got the seat pockets. I mean, these aren't the, that's the difference between a Mercury and a Mustang, a Cougar and a Mustang. They had the, the high dollar seats, the uh, pouches and the seat backs. Door shuts well. This is a good looking car guys initially i was going to put the brand new chrome torque thrust on there but just to keep the cost uh, down a little bit i had these nice uh, american racing five spoke wheels and i thought you know what we'll just go ahead and uh, put those on it for now if somebody wants to do something different they can now i talked about how nice the paint was but it had a few flaws well here they are it has a paint scratch right here kind of zoom out so you can see it's a little thin paint scratch right there. Other than that, I mean, no bubbles, no blisters, no issues. Um, and there's just, he told me he went just a little close along the side of the garage or something there, and it's just got a paint scratch. It's just a scratch, guys. It's not dented, um, no issue, no rust, no nothing like that. Just a little paint scratch right there that needs to be touched up. Um, no bubbles, no blisters, no issues anywhere in this uh, front of this quarter panel. Same thing with our door and lower fender. It's just excellent. Pinch weld's good. If you go under our website, coyoteclassics.com, you'll see pictures of the floor pans as well. Check out the uh, door gap here. Perfectly even from top to back. And you see how that body line goes from the quarter to the door? It lines up excellent. Same thing up front. This is really a nice Cougar, guys. The front, the paint on the front fender is excellent. The whole car as a whole is just good looking car. Let's see how it drives. Again, that door opens nice. You don't have to struggle there. The corner of the door, the whole door jam itself is just excellent. As we open up the original uh, passenger driver's side door panel, that's in excellent shape as well. Both of the courtesy lights are working in the doors. We went ahead and fixed those. Uh, Sony, Sony speakers are in great shape. Door opens and closes nice. Paint in the door jam is nice. We put a new striker. Look, even in the, you know, the nice factory wiring, it's not all painted over with overspray. I mean, they did a nice job on the restoration. Driver's side seats, excellent. Older dual exhaust, but it still sounds good, so we left it alone. Let's go ahead and check the wipers, guys, and check the wipers on. Wipers work. Didn't park correctly. Here. Um, it does have the remote mirror as well. That works. Power steering seems to work good on it. One thing I did notice that, uh, you know, and I don't know if it's ever had anything done that way, but there's just, just a little play in the steering wheel. Not that it needs an alignment, it goes straight down the road, but you can just feel there's just a little play in that uh, steering box. Might be able to be tightened up, but when they get older, they just get a little play in them. But as far as, I mean, here's how I'm driving it, guys. Straight down the road, does not need alignment. Yeah, this 351 Windsor is fast. Um, we got, we just, I just got done driving a 351 Windsor 69 uh, Cougar with a two barrel and that thing that kicked you back in your seat a little bit too with that two barrel, but this four barrel with the kick down working properly really set you back. We know sitting there spinning tires guys. 70 mile an hour just like that. Um, this thing really goes. Handles the road nice. As I mentioned,
section, it does have that little play, but man, it, it goes perfectly straight down the road. I really like how this drives. The shocks feel really good. Um, it just floats right down the road, guys. Great acceleration. Speedometer works perfectly. Tack works excellent. Our brakes work great. Um, we did do the uh, rear wheel cylinders too, um, and they work perfect. The front disc worked perfect. Very impressive car. This thing's got so much power at wheel hops just a little bit. I mean, this thing goes. 